I want to ask you, how's your nest egg doing? What's it up to? Is it healthy? Are you going to have enough money to retire when you want and do what you want? And is it going to last you so that you have a quality of life until you pass? Those are some of the issues that my financial advisor helps me with. And we get help, I think, as prudent citizens of this state that with our spouses save money, put it away, uh, and invest it prudently. Or we have the help of other institutions such as PERS to invest our money so that we do have a retirement. And what, what is the advice of our investment advisors? Diversify. You don't put your money all in one place. You put it in index funds. You put it in mutual funds. You put it in a mix of securities and stocks. You might buy a little real estate. But you don't put it all in one basket. And that makes sense because over the long haul, you might not make a huge return because you're not gambling with your future. But you'll make enough, and it's prudent. Right now, what we're doing in our state is putting our eggs all in one basket with respect to our transportation fuels. Oregon currently sends more than $5 billion out of the state each year importing gas and diesel fuels in. That money doesn't really benefit our local economies very much. And like the good representative from Hood River and the Columbia Gorge mentioned, that oil is subject to global markets, which we cannot affect very much as citizens of this state. That flow of oil around the world is adversely affected many times by OPEC and other interests that have no interest in the affordability of our oil here. They're working on many different levels at the same time without regard to us, essentially. I'm in favor of the clean fuel program because it helps stem this tide by giving consumers a choice at the pump, primarily with homegrown sources of clean energy. By diversifying our fuel supply, we do a couple of things. We make it safer, we make it more secure, we make it our own, and along the way, we're supporting Oregon home homegrown businesses. And on your desk, there's a letter from Main Street, the Main Street Alliance for Oregon and the OBA. They're behind this bill. Why? They're behind this bill because it has a real potential to promote Oregon homegrown businesses. And I'm for that. Colleagues, I have one of these businesses in my district that is waiting on our vote today to get underway. It's a company that can essentially place a small compressed gas station down on an ordinary gas line, compress the natural gas, and feed it into fleets. We already know that some buses are powered on compressed natural gas, some bus fleets. Waste management is doing a little bit of that as well with the methane from their own landfills. That's an example of diversification that I can get behind. So I'll be voting for Senate Bill 324 today, not just because it's a good deal for our environment, but it's a good deal for our smaller businesses that will share in the prosperity of a diversified fuel portfolio. Thank you. Thank you, Representative.